Okay. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar with my good friend, Charlie, in the north of Ireland. And Charlie, it's great to have you on board here. We're going live from the bus. Uh, we go live here on the bus sessions at 12, and then we have a, a, a shout-out show at 12, sorry, and at the 5 o'clock, then we have the bus sessions. But uh, this is a whole new uh, approach we're after doing, and we're talking to you, Charlie, in the north of Ireland. Where exactly are you, Charlie? Um, I am in a little place called Castle Derg, just between Straban and Oma in County Tyrone. Brilliant. The last time we chatted, it was in Birmingham, and uh, we, we literally came home at the same time. Um, you're home for a little while now. What uh, business are you after getting involved in? Yes, so uh, we met in Birmingham last time. I was studying at university uh, in Birmingham, and I came to see one of your shows, uh, which was uh, very good, uh, I have to say. Thank but, you. Um, I came back to Castleberg on the 18th of March, uh, due to all this that's going on, and I thought I may as well, um, you know, I may as well do something with my time. So I started a business, uh, Tyrone Genealogy Services, um, which is uh, a business that helps people track down their families and their genealogy and their roots. You know, where did this idea come from? I mean, um, what were you studying for starters in um, Birmingham? Well, um, I was studying politics in in Birmingham. Right. So, uh, not, not, not very uh, genealogical, um, <laughs> but definitely relevant uh, in today's climate. Yeah. Um, but no, I've always had an interest in um, family, folklore, um, the ways of rural Ireland and uh, how families emigrate and what happens to families. I, I've always had that interest. And uh, personally, I've been, I've been doing my own research on my own family for about going on nearly 10 years now um, so I had acquired skills and I acquired um, quite a knack for it uh, so I thought why not help other people and why not put, put these skills to use um, so yeah that, that was that was the main uh, aim behind it. You're, you're a young man and I mean you're, you're sort of looking back in, back into the future as we say um, what age are you? Um, I'm 21 years old. My God, I mean, yeah, but as I think you were here before. <laughs> I'm, only, <laughs> I'm only a pup, as I would say. I'm You're only, only a pup. pup. <laughs> Tell me, um, how is your business going? Have you, uh, like, a lot of American people would be very interested in this. Yes, um, I've had quite a bit of uh, interest um, from America, from South Carolina, uh, New York, uh, Washington, Florida. Um, San Francisco, all across America, we've had people coming onto the page who are genuinely interested in tracing their Irish roots. Some of them not Irish, some of them Scottish, um, but we, we specialize in Ulster and, and, and Scotland. So it's great to see these Americans coming on. And we've got Australians, uh, people from England, people from Wales, uh, even people from Poland and Italy have been coming onto the page. So it's great to see the real scope of people that are coming on and interacting with us, you know. Well, what we, our, our culture is to travel anyway. And as well, there's a huge connection between Scotland and Ireland as well because of the potatoes and collect them going back so many, many years. Um, so there's a mm -hmm. huge connection. And as I say, there's so many Irish people all over the world. Um, we were definitely, um, well, we're on an island, so we always probably thought to ourselves, let's travel. But um, you were saying there recently that you're missing Birmingham. Well, this is it. This is it. You were saying recently you were missing Birmingham. Yes, um, I am. I'm, I'm missing the social life, you know. I, I'm, yeah. not missing, I'm not missing Birmingham itself, but I'm definitely missing the people and, and, and the, um, the social life. I like the green fields here in Tyrone, so, I, you know, I've got the best of both worlds, being able to travel between the both of them. And tell me, will you finish your course in England um, by computer or will you just throw it all up? No, that's it. I, I had finished when COVID had started. I had sort of finished. So I was very lucky to um, have finished my course when I did. So that's me. That's me finished university now. Three years and a piece of paper and £30,000 of debt. But sure, we'll not, we'll not go into too much of that. If, anybody, make... if, anybody wants it, if anyone wants to pay it off, um, I'll, I'll provide Ray with my bank details. <laughs> Tell me, do you reckon everyone should go to college? 
I don't know. I think college is for some people. For other people, it's not. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some people are better at the pencil. Other people are better at the shovel. It just depends on the person, really. Um, but yeah, it, 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 I liked it. It was for me, but it might not be for everybody. Right. Well, tell us uh, once again, how will we contact, if anyone is out there and wants to contact you, how is the best way to contact you? Yep. So the best way to contact us is uh, via Facebook. Uh, we've got a page, uh, Tyrone Genealogy Services, um, and you'll find our logo is a little um, emblem of Ireland. It's uh, against a white background, so it's very easy to um, easy, very easy to pick out. Best way to contact us is via that. Um, also, you can contact us via email, which is Tyrone Genealogy Services at gmail.com, um, and we will be able to uh, help. Uh, and, and we offer a free consultation, so you provide us with details and we'll go away then and see uh, what we can find and how far back we can find it and then, um, then we can discuss options and stuff like that best, best suited to you. And, and the time frame, does it take long to, to find, I mean there must be a, a lot, a lot of work trying to find out a person's roots. There, there, there's an awful lot of work you see uh, in Ireland a lot of people don't realize this um, but during the the war of independence um, the four courts was blown up and with the four courts uh, went 800 years of history uh, records uh, relating to genealogy relating to families so really overnight Ireland lost 800 years of history um, so it can be extremely difficult to know where to look for these things. Um, but, but thank God now a lot of it has been uh, digitalized for researchers and a lot of it has been um, put out there. So it's, there is a bit of work to it, but at the moment, we, uh, from consultation to finished product, it's around two weeks that uh, oh, really? we have our products out. So we're working at a good pace um, and it's a good, it's a, we've had plenty of testimonials as well and plenty of people coming back and reviewing the work. So there's plenty of people that are happy with um, our services, which you can see on the page, you know. Well, look, uh, Charlie Gohan, G-O-A-N. I put a H in there earlier on the day, but uh, it's Charlie Gohan. And, uh, Charlie what you, Gohan, yeah. What do you say it in Irish? Um, Charlie Gohan. Gona. Yeah. Well, look, uh, sir. Means, means, means Smith. Means Smith in Irish. Oh, really? It means wow. Smith, yeah. So look, there's plenty of them about. Charlie, thanks very much for taking the call. And uh, we're looking forward to chatting to you again. And we're looking forward to bringing you to Mullingar sometime and checking out uh, mm -hmm. what we have to offer. I look forward to it, Ray. And we'll have you up in Castle Derg soon as well. Right. Well, look, thanks a million and chat to you soon. Chat to you soon, Ray. Good man. God bless. Bye-bye. 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 Stop. Okay, recording.